What's going on you guys? Riley here. Today we are reviewing the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon, the only production car to ever pull a wheelie with 840 horsepower. Now by now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen Dodge Demon reviews in the past and everybody's been talking about them for the last couple years. And I myself was actually at the Dodge Demon unveiling a couple years ago when they first came out with these things. So today's a very special day for, for me, being able to drive and review this thing for you guys. And overall, I'm just gonna get my impressions on the Dodge Demon. Is it really just a souped up Hellcat or is it something completely different? Now, of course, as most of you know, this one is featured in B5 Blue, which happens to be one of my favorite colors. And honestly, I don't see too many B5 Blue Demons. So to see this one is a real treat, and I really appreciate the owner for letting me review his Demon today. All right, now before we get too in-depth on the Demon, I figured we'd talk about just some of the basic facts about this thing. So, this, when it came out, was the quickest production car running the quarter mile in 9.65 seconds. Now that's faster than a Porsche 918, a Ferrari La Ferrari, the list goes on and on. This thing beats them all right off the showroom floor. Now this is due to many reasons. However, one of the most noticeable is these 315 wide sticky drag radials right off the showroom floor once again that will have this bad boy doing zero to 60s of 2.1 seconds on a track and 2.3 seconds on the street. Once again, making it the quickest zero to 60 production car that you can buy. And the list of records that the Dodge Demon holds goes on and on. I could sit here all day telling you all of the different things that the Dodge Demon does best amongst anything else that you can buy. And here we are looking at a Dodge Challenger. Under the hood of this beast is a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 Hemi that produces 840 horsepower and 770 pound feet of torque when equipped with race gas. Yeah, that's right, race gas. A car that you can buy, once again, off the showroom floor and put race gas in as long as you swap the ECU to a specific race gas enabling one. Now let's say you don't want to switch to race gas, you just want to leave it on the Peasant 93 Octane. Well, you're still looking at a beefy 808 horsepower and 717 pound-feet of torque. Now to the untrained eye, you probably think that this is simply a Hellcat motor that has a little bit different tuning, which is not the case at all. In fact, a lot of the internals are completely different with this motor. The supercharging is increased in size. I could go on and on. The Dodge Demon is just an absolutely remarkable machine, and what a time to be alive where you can somehow get all of this approved by a legal department of a giant corporation like FCA and for them to be sitting around at a, a meeting saying, hey, I have an idea. Let's make a car that does wheelies and not sell it to people. That's a great idea. But it's just absolutely mind-blowing what the team over at Dodge and SRT have created and I still can't get over that this thing even exists. The Hellcat was crazy enough. Now we have a demon. Where are they going to go from here? How do you top this thing? When does it stop? I'm not complaining, but my goodness, what a time to be alive. Now moving on to the interior of the Dodge Demon. So as we walk up here, you will notice that for the most part, it does look like your normal Challenger, which is not a bad thing. Challengers are extremely comfortable. Honestly, you could daily drive a Demon if you really wanted to. But uh, moving on, some of the differences that you might spot are we have a nice Alcantara wrapped steering wheel, which we'll have to uh, explore around with later. And you'll notice that the gauges in this car are white as opposed to red in a Hellcat. So just a nice little detailed touch there. And then moving back to the seats, we have a nice Demon logo. Now the owner of this one did equip his with black leather. And as you can see, he did opt for the $1 optional passenger seat and the $1 optional back seat. Also optioned for a $5,000 sunroof up there. Yeah, that's right, $5,000 for a sunroof. This one also features the optional Harman Kardon sound system, which is honestly one of my favorite sound systems on the market. But this one is a pretty much fully loaded Demon, and oh man, I cannot wait to drive this thing and see truly what this thing is capable of. So before we take it for a spin, figured we would just go ahead and start the Demon up and we go over some of its cool features. So as you see, it is keyless. Just put your foot on the brake, and with the red push to start button over here. All right, so as I said a little bit earlier, inside of a Dodge Challenger is an extremely comfortable place to be. And as I said, you really could daily drive it. And that's what it looks like looking over that giant air grabber hood. Pretty cool feeling. Now moving over here to the gauge cluster, it's a pretty much just like you'd find in a Hellcat. They didn't change too much there. However, when we move over here is when we get to all the fun stuff. 
So if you're familiar with Hellcats, this probably looks pretty familiar to you. As you can see, we have our power and then the different tractions and suspension settings. And then of course we have drag mode up here, which is pretty cool. It goes through a little checklist and it diverts the air conditioning actually into the intercooler to cool your engine down to give you better performance. What a crazy invention that is. And then as you can see there in drag mode, everything turns to red to let you know that there's an air quality warning. Everything turns to red to let you know that you're not messing around. So now it is pretty funny that they do still include an eco mode for your demon, in case you decide to be uh, eco-friendly. But we're moving on down to the drag options, which is uh, launch control, your shift light, the race cooldown, and line lock. So line lock can hold the front brakes and release the rear brakes so you can do a nice burnout before you're passed down the drag strip. And then race cooldown mode, we can uh, sit over here and like I said, you can adjust the air conditioning to where it basically goes inside your intercooler. And then of course, the shift light and launch control are also pretty self-explanatory, but pretty darn cool that you have all of this stuff that you can customize to however you want it to fit your needs and uh, you can make it your own. All right guys, so the moment I have been waiting for for a very long time, finally getting to drive a Dodge Demon. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how this feels coming from a Challenger Hellcat, which is like this car's little little baby brother. Right. I guess not really baby brother, but little brother. All right, so setting off in the Demon, the most noticeable thing as opposed to a uh, Hellcat is that the supercharger whine is so much louder in this car and so much more prominent. And I absolutely love that. It just reminds you, even if you're just going slow, it's you're in a demon. But yeah, you know, initial impressions on the demon is once again, like I said, you could daily drive this thing. It's super comfortable. The ride's totally fine. I have everything in the auto map or the auto settings. I'm still with 808 horsepower at my disposal whenever I choose to. I mean, it's just, it's such a cool car. And like I said earlier, I can't believe this, this thing somehow made it through all the legal teams and legal departments. And I know when you buy a demon or place an order for one, you had to sign all these different waivers saying, I will not use you know launch control on the street and i will not drive this car below 15 degrees outside but still it's just it's amazing that this thing was even created in the first place now if you're like me you probably wonder how well does it merge onto a freeway well i guess there's only one way to find out <laughs> Yep, it's fast. <laughs> what the heck? Once again, how did this get approved by a legal department? That's, that's ridiculous that anybody can go out and just buy that. That's nuts. And it's so smooth in the way the power is delivered, but then you look down and the number is just climbing faster than just about anything I've ever seen before. That's just ridiculous. That is, uh, that's definitely noticeably faster than a Hellcat. All right, so now I'm trying again just from a slower speed. Dude, this is fast. It, it's a different power delivery than the Hellcat as well. The Hellcat, you can tell in the sound, you can tell in the feeling, it's just, it's different. And I like that. I didn't want it to just be a, an upgraded Hellcat, which it's not. And I know that's what the internet likes to say is, oh, it's just a Hellcat with, with more power. It's, it's a totally different car. It's a way more special car. Even just sitting here, you get the vibe that you're driving a super special car and, and then as you can see here we're cruising at 70 miles per hour on the freeway it's quiet comfortable smooth ride i mean it's just inc it's incredible that i'm sitting in a car right now that has the potential to do a wheelie do zero to 60 in 2.1 seconds holds all of these different records for fastest production car for this and that and the other and yet it's comfortable that's refined they didn't you're not sacrificing anything i'm not sitting in a, a car that's just a roll cage and a harness and a plastic steering wheel like it's it's a nice car now while we can't do any wheelies today we oh it hooks so much better than a hellcat <laughs> this is wow <laughs> it's just it's a car that makes you giggle what do you think about the brakes Brakes were great. They, uh, I was reading online, it said the, I believe it was the 100 f or 60 to zero happens in like 97 feet, which is, that's incredible for a car that weighs this much. 
those Dodge engineers, they, they figured this thing out. Yes. They, uh, they really were showing off what they could do when they made this. Well, seriously, guys, this thing is just, it's an absolute joy to drive. And I know it would be a completely different animal on race gas and with the front skinnies on and going to a racetrack. I mean, I can only imagine what that's like. And then you have people out there like SRT Mush who decided that, hey, that's not fast enough. I want over a thousand horsepower in my Demon. And, you know, just, this is such an incredible platform and all I have to say is kudos to you Dodge for creating this thing and Ford and Chevy you got your work cut out for you how are you going to top this I look look forward to seeing the uh, the muscle car battle continue but man Dodge you guys nailed it well guys if there's one thing I'm uh, taking away from the Dodge Demon experience here it's that it's not just a beefed up Hellcat this thing is is incredible the last time I, I really got a feeling like this in a car where I felt wow this is really special was probably right about the time the GT350 was released and when that I drove that car I just said this is a, a really special car it's not the fastest car but it just felt special this is the same feeling except this is a whole lot faster <laughs> it's just it's just so cool and I just can't say wow enough times well guys I will leave the owner of this Dodge Demons Instagram right here please go give him a follow he told me he's gonna start posting a whole lot more definitely check it out you don't see b5 blue demons very often and this thing is just absolutely beautiful he says well we'll probably have a track day coming up pretty soon we'll take him to the track and i just i can't get over how incredible this thing is so just good job dodge but i just want to thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one take it easy